Golden chain or laburnum is a member of the pea family. All parts of golden chain are toxic. It produces seed pods which could be mistaken for pea plants. Symptoms of laburnum poisoning may include sleepiness, vomiting, convulsive movements, coma, slight frothing at the mouth, and unequal dilated pupils. The main toxin in the plant is cytosine. You may start seeing symptoms after about an hour. The symptoms are identical to nicotine intoxication. There's one case reported where a man died very quickly with 23 seeds in his stomach. I would assume that would be much more than the lethal dose. There are two common species of hemlock, water hemlock and uh, poison hemlock. They are members of the carrot family and strongly resemble several other edible plants. The most toxic part of the plant is the roots. Hemlock is probably most famous as the poison that killed Socrates. It causes central nervous system stimulation and causes seizures if toxic doses are eaten. Both plants affect the central nervous system, but their toxins are different. Hemlock basically just shuts down your uh, muscles so you, you lose the ability to breathe. Water hemlock causes you to become paralyzed. It's very similar to curare, how it works. Water hemlock is usually found in wet soils. Poison hemlock is found in wooded areas and uh, other waste areas. Jaquiri beans or rosary peas, people make uh, jewelry out of them. That can be particularly dangerous because if somebody cuts themselves, they could, they could poison themselves. Jaquiri beans have one of the most toxic toxins known. I think ricin is the only plant toxin that's more toxic as far as I know. One pea is enough to kill a person. They grow in the wild south from Arkansas to the tropics. They're native to India and parts of Asia. They're considered a pest in, in Florida. The actual toxin is a large protein called abrin. It loses most of its uh, toxicity after being cooked, but uh, I wouldn't recommend eating it. The toxin stops protein synthesis in the cell. Jimson weed and other detura have a toxic effect very similar to deadly nightshade. The main toxin in both cases is atropine. They are members of the nightshade family. There is a report of them being used in the Revolutionary War. Apparently somebody gave some in a salad to uh, a British general and basically made him go insane. You see them very often here in Southern California. They'll be one of the few plants that stays green even in the heat of the summer. The most common reason for someone to be exposed to this would be if they were taking it purposely to try to get high. It causes hallucinations but the the difference between the fatal dose and the uh, you know the recreational dose is very small, so it's a very foolish and dangerous thing to do. The most distinctive characteristic is probably the flower. The seed head is also quite distinctive. The flowers are very large; they're usually bigger than your hands, but it varies dramatically depending on the growing conditions. Lantana, or sometimes called red or yellow sage. It's a native of tropical America and West Africa. It can be grown in gardens in northern states, and it is often used as a house plant. In the south, from Florida to California, it grows as a perennial shrub. In the north, it's generally just a, uh, an annual. Often there are different colored flowers on the same cluster. The seeds are spread by birds. Foliage and unripe berries contain the toxic substance Symptoms of ingestion include sluggishness, weak, weakness, bloody diarrhea. In severe cases, death can occur within two to four days. It can be very hard on livestock, and it is considered a bad invasive species in some places, like Australia and Hawaii. The toxin is a pentacyclic triterpenoid. A fatal dose for animals is about 1% of the weight of the animal. Convalaria majalis, otherwise known as lily of the valley, is native throughout the northern hemisphere. The American variety is limited to the southeast where it grows in the wild. The plant has many different toxins. 
Convalotoxin is one of the most active natural substances affecting the heart. It acts very much like digitalis, causes irregular, slow pulse, and can cause heart failure. In addition, the plant contains saponins, which can cause gastrointestinal poisoning. It also makes the plant dangerous to handle. Probably should wash your hands after uh, touching the plant. Some of the symptoms are irregular heartbeat. It's usually accompanied by digestive upset and mental confusion. One reported set of fatalities was a family that thought they were eating onions. The plants are especially dangerous to cats and dogs. It is also reported to cause illness in chickens and ducks as well. Lobelia has a long use as a herbal medicine. It was used by the uh, Native Americans for breathing disorders. It is used as a substitute for tobacco and was smoked by the Native Americans. Its toxin mimics the effects of tobacco. It was first used in Western medicine when it was found to have a powerful emetic effect or it makes you want to throw up. That's why it's also known as puke weed. It's also known as Indian tobacco. It is reported that it takes between 0.5 and 2% of your body weight for a lethal dose. The poison is a pyridine alkaloid similar to nicotine. Native Americans smoked it. It also relaxes the lungs and apparently that's why they used it. Lobeline is the most active component and it's common to most lobelias. The plant is something of an enigma. It ranges from considered a deadly poison to uh, a wonderful herb medicine. Mistletoe is the common name for a group of hemiparasitic plants. That means they're partially parasitic and they also photosynthesize. They grow attached to other trees and shrubs, often high up in the branches. They are often distinctive and easy to see from long distance because they're very spherical in shape and, they, um, and their foliage is very dense compared to other trees. The toxicity varies by species and what part you eat. The ferrodendron species contain a toxin called ferrotoxin. It can cause many symptoms, including blood pressure change, blur, blurred vision, and even possibly death. One fatality on record was a woman that drank some tea that was brewed from the, uh, from the berries. Aconitum, monk's hood, or wolfsbane, is a widespread and extremely poisonous plant. It got its name from being used to kill wolves. This particular species reminds me of a Minbari warship from Babylon 5. It just looks like something that would kill you. Wolfbane was made popular in Hollywood in the 1941 Lon Chaney Wolfman movie. Even a man who is pure in heart and says his prayers by night may become a wolf when the wolfbane blooms and the autumn moon is bright. Wolfbane may be the most toxic plant in the world. You don't even have to eat it. You can just touch the plant and you can be poisoned by it. Canadian actor Andre Noble recently died after accidentally consuming monk's hood. There are over 250 species of aconitum. It's a member of the buttercup family. They are widespread throughout the northern hemisphere, and it has a long use as a, uh, a poison for tipping arrows and spears. The first symptoms of aconitum poisoning is a burning, tingling, and numbness in, in the mouth, as well as burning in the abdomen. If you just touch the plant, you can start feeling the tingling. One of the antidotes is atropine. That's the toxin in uh, many of the nightshades, so I guess you could take uh, belladonna as an antidote. That sounds kind of strange. Moonseed is a poisonous plant that strongly resembles grapes. It is native in the eastern part of North America. All parts of the plant are poisonous, but the fruit are especially dangerous because of their strong resemblance to grapes. It can usually be found growing in moist woods or near streams. The most distinctive feature that distinguishes it from grapes is, is the seeds. They are shaped like a crescent moon, and that's where the, the plant gets its name, obviously. Grapes have many smaller seeds. The toxin in moon seed is an alkaloid daracine. The symptoms include convulsions. The toxin is very much like curare, and it is actually a relative of the plant that curare came from. It is reported to taste bad, so, you know, misidentification is probably the biggest danger. Mountain laurel, with scientific name Calmia latifolia, otherwise known as spoonwood, it is a species of flowering plant that's actually related to blueberries. It's a member of the Heath family. It's native to the eastern part of the United States. Its range stretches from 
Maine to Florida, west to, a, to about Indiana and Louisiana. The plants are poisonous to horses, goats, cattle, sheep, and deer. It is apparently not toxic to dogs and cats. It's a strikingly beautiful plant. It's probably why it's a state flower of uh, at least two states.